We have learned in the previous sessions that energy is the ability to do work. The mechanical energy of an object is the sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy possessed by this object. Potential energy and kinetic energy are two types of mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is one form of energy. Are there other forms of energy surrounding us? Let's see. Energy exists around us in various forms. You can hear energy as sound when someone is talking, the same as you are listening to me right now. Mechanical energy. Is your muscles moving? Car moving? Any machine that's moving has mechanical energy. Light energy. It comes to us from the sun, from a lamp. Heat energy or thermal energy. Rub your hands together. You will feel heat. This is heat energy. Fire has heat energy as well. Chemical energy. It is caused by chemical reactions. You find chemical energy stored in batteries, fuel, as well as in the food you eat. Nuclear energy. It's released by reactions within nuclei of atoms. Nuclear energy can be used to generate electricity. Electric energy is the form of energy we use most nowadays. Electric energy is used every time we plug an electric appliance in a socket and switch it on. Now, let's watch a video that shows transformation of energy. Conversion of energy from one form to another. In our earlier session, we have learned about different forms of energy. Now, let's learn how each form of energy converts into another form of energy. Let us find some of the examples of conversion of one form of energy to another form. The water from Dan is potential energy, is transformed into kinetic energy. In microphone, sound energy is transformed into electrical energy. In TV camera, light energy is transformed into electrical energy. In solar cell, light energy is transformed into electrical energy. In iron box, electrical energy is transformed into heat energy. In loudspeaker, electrical energy is transformed into sound energy. In fan, electrical energy is transformed into mechanical energy. In light, electrical energy is transformed into light energy. As you have seen in the video, energy can be transformed from one form to another. As in the case of a lamp, the electric energy is transformed into light energy with the help of this lamp. The lamp is said to be an energy converter. Energy converter is a device that converts, transforms energy from one form to another form. Electric energy in this case is referred to as received energy. The converter, which is the lamp, converts this electric energy into light energy, which referred to as produced energy. Pause the video. Fill in the table with the corresponding received and produced energy for each converter shown below. The gas stove receives chemical energy due to the combustion of butane gas. The gas stove converts this chemical energy to heat energy we use to cook food. The car engine receives chemical energy due to the combustion of the fuel. It converts this chemical energy to mechanical energy that allows the car to move. Green plants receive light energy from the sun, converts it to chemical energy needed to produce 
their own food. Let's continue with some other energy converters. The solar cell receives light energy from the sun, converts it to electric energy we use to power different electric appliances such as television, computers. The radiometer receives light energy, converts it to mechanical energy. Radiometer is used to measure the intensity of light. The more the light is present, the more the radiometer rotates. Dynamo of a bicycle converts the mechanical energy it receives to electric energy you use to light the lamp of the bicycle. We can use a diagram to show energy transformation taking place in a certain converter. The diagram is written as follows. For the lamp, the received energy is electric energy. It's converted to light energy with the aid of the lamp. That's how the energy transformation taking place in the lamp is written in a diagram. Don't forget to write the name of the converter above the arrow. Now, write in a form of a diagram the energy transformation taking place in dry cell and fan water. Here we have a lamp, solar cell, and a fan. Our aim is to turn on the fan with the help of the lamp and the solar cell. Write in one diagram the energy transformation taking place in these three converters. First, electric energy is received by the lamp. The lamp transforms it to light energy. The solar cell, in turn, converts light energy it receives to electric energy. This electric energy is now received by the fan motor. The fan motor converts the received electric energy into mechanical energy the fan is now turned on that's all for today thank you for watching study the summary and solve numbers two four and five in your book pay attention in number five switch the arrow in the diagram as shown here Thank you.